I prefer class with this or what class with it with her. Hey peeps, it's your girl Blessed Gaza Diva and welcome back to the Blessed Gaza Diva channel. Leela Aiki, Coffee, Protege and more speak about the influence in their generation of none other than my artist, your artist, your favorite artist. Vibes Cartel. People, this is what we talk about when we talk about a legacy. And this is what we talk about when you can influence an entire generation. That's greatness. Anyway, when we get back, we're going to talk about it. We're going to look into it. We're going to dissect it. And we're going to have a discussion as per usual down below in the comment section. Let's kick it. <laughs> You're not like anyone else You find the way you are Did you do this all yourself? A smile ignites the room Sending us up to the time, you know it's cartel Representing for Blessed D, Gaza Diva Real bad man, no muggle in a shot Straight jeans, cut down foot pants Everybody your fiance, so me get my class Clarks was already a thing in Jamaica for years, but when he did that song, I just remember a different level. So people, for a few weeks running now, there has been this Clarks original advertisement running. So this first started, this project pretty much started with Raheem Sterling. And for those of you who don't know, Raheem Sterling is a Jamaican who plays in Europe. So let's take a quick look at some of the goals that has been scored by Raheem. I can tell you he's not my favorite baller. Of course, Ronaldo is, but Big up to him. I respect him because he plays well when you watch him and he's in session. He does a good job. And for some time now, he has been running a campaign um, specifically tied to Marvelly All Age. And the campaign has been run about giving away free clerks to students who actually goes um, to school. It came on or around um, a couple months ago, almost a year ago, and it was right on the heels of Rona. So I know that this campaign has been out for some time and he predominantly got a version of them, specifically a lower level brand level um, that was made in green colors. And as you can see from the video um, playing under the voiceover, you can see or get a flavor of those types of clerks that were issued. So he predominantly partnered with Marvelly Olage, and he, that was his alma mater, and he was giving away um, a number of clerks. Now, for some time, uh, the campaign got wider and got bigger because I guess they understand that Jamaica or clerks itself, clerks original, is inherently tied into the history or just the lifestyle of Jamaicans. Like, I don't know about you, but I know in my household, every uncle, every cousin, every male person in my household had to have a Clarks. If they didn't have a Clarks, it was like no other shoes existed. I personally owned a Clarks when I was eight years old. So I got it from England and, you know, people, it was a leatherette one. And I tell you, it's one of the worst shoes for me at the time, I thought, because of course, I wasn't as captivated as the male persons were in my house. I actually got it as a gift from a family member. And at the time, I didn't know how much of a gem I had on my hands. My uncles and my mother and my brothers, they knew because they'd be like, why you don't want to wear the shoes? And I'm like, I don't like it. It's big and ugly. That's what I thought. Now I wish I never had done that. And I wish I had preserved it. But as I said, it preserved itself on me because years upon years after me trying to beat away with it at, with a stone, it never materialized. Now, as I'm saying, back to the campaign. So this new ad campaign that is running is going off with Leela Aiki Coffee and protege and they are going to speak about their influence or they became aware of clarks and of course the interviewer was asking them about clarks how it became our mainstay in jamaica let me just put this out there long before vibes cartel sung about clarks clarks has always been a mainstay i remember my stepfather he had mesh marinas in every color and he had some gabardine pants and he had diamond socks, some green and red diamond socks. And he had to have a pair of clerks. He had wallabies, he had desert clerks, he had 
all different cheese bottom clarks he had every single color clarks you could think of in the world and i used to be fascinated by the shoes only to say what is so special about it but again i was a reebok classic person so i wanted to get rid of my clarks to get my reebok classic so we understand that clarks was around but they're going to tell you in their generation what inspired them the most and how it became a mainstay from their experience so let's go to kick it to coffee Vibes Cartel and his song Clarks officially was like a big movement for Jamaica. So I think a lot of people upheld his message of you know wearing clocks and feeling fresh in clocks and wearing your clocks with anything. Songs and saying toothbrush get out the dust fast. <laughs> so as you can hear from Coffee, she's basically singing what she remembered in her generation she's telling you that listen to me vibes cartel was the man who placed this on a pedestal he was the one who made us know that clark's is mainstay like this is the shoes to have and if you watch the full interview you can run over to the clark's original instagram page you can see the full interview in its entirety extremely captivating interview you watch it and it speaks to different demographics it's not just coffee protege and leela Ike. there are other persons in the documentary or mini documentary and it speaks to the evolution of clark's in jamaican culture and it actually shows you the evolution of clark's and it's a good watch so run over there and watch it but it's good to hear that vibes cartel got his special kudos because that man literally and you can remember from the past when they say clark's original was going to shut down as a company and when vibes cartel started that movement again or started the upsurge or reinvigorated the bloodline of clark's in the culture everything everybody wanted a clark's he had the fake one the real one now we're going to kick it to clark's my prefer clark's with this our clark's with it with turk polo for tiger you buy the golfer yeah that one that's when i actually started to like really really listen to to vibes cartel after that so as you can hear rhyme sterling is pretty much there wrapping out what vibes cartel said and you see i tell you vibes cartel has touched so many different people across the world and the reason why he's able to touch so many different cross sections is because he does not do music as they promote him violent music only and if you call it violent music i never call any one of vibes cartel's music violent music i call it artistry and even in the quote-unquote gunman song which i preferred than any of his other songs there are learnings that if you put your mind or are close to social activities you will understand what he's saying but here he is touching an international superstar rhyme sterling and the man is saying i started listening to more vibes cartel after hearing this song and is that the artistry that exists in vibes cartel now we're going to listen to another rastafarian protege and what he had to say about vibes cartel Clarks was already a thing in Jamaica for years, but when he did that song, I just remember a different level of obsession. So he's basically saying what everybody knows. Once Vibes Cartel sung about Clarks, there became an obsession with it. The obsession was you could literally touch it with a knife. Everybody who didn't like Clarks wanted to know what a Clarks was. Everybody who didn't even like wearing Clarks wanted a Clarks. And as I said, had I known that Clarks would have been such a mainstay in our culture or just so pivotal and important to our society, I would have taken better care of the one I had when I was younger. Because when I grew up and Vibes Cartel, you know, started singing about Clarks and he did the one and the two, I was like, man, I really destroyed a good freaking shoes. And I really wish I did take better care of it. So again, Vibes Cartel being lauded and a cultural driver, as we know, the Gaza fans know, he definitely is across the world. So let's hear what Leela Ike has to say. Eka Mouse, and then naturally in my generation, Vibes Cartel and Popcorn come and just revolutionize it, you know? And as she said, 
Leela Aiki says her generation was influenced, inspired by Vibes Cartel. Has he's done many others, right? And not because, I'm going to say this clear, not because Vibes Cartel sing about Clarks and it became such an influence across Jamaica and the world, not everybody got in tune to liking a Clarks or loving a Clarks. Because people are going to say, okay, yes, yeah, so you can give Vibes Cartel kudos because Clarks is selling and it's good song and you're talking about music, don't influence. So why you don't say that he influenced the man them to take up the gun? I can't say that because just as true as everybody will not take up a gun by listening to a gun lyric it is also even more true that not everybody liked or wore a clarks because he sung the song anyway people this is a good look this is a good documentary um as i say run over to clark's original and you can watch it in its entirety or you can go over to coffee's page she has it on her page and as i said it is a good solid 10 minute watch or so i really enjoyed it and it was finally good for me to see vibes cartel getting the kudos that he deserves because when this campaign started about a year or so ago it wasn't being placed on a pedestal that he was instrumental in our generation for singing about this and making it reach the state where it has reached so it's good to see them paying homage or kudos right now to him for doing such a thing but the good thing is the interviewers understand it the clark's interviewers so they know the impact that he had anyway tell me your thoughts down below in the comment section if you think that vibes cartel is one of the biggest influencers in our generation your generation my generation and as per usual we'll have a talk down below in the comment section tell me if you watched the documentary already and if you enjoy it if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please hit the notification bell and if you've not yet smashed the like button on this video to smash the like button and send this out. I'm out. Happy Sunday, peeps.